Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I have not been posting for a while. Basically, I have changed my Pokemon channel. So basically, I'm just gonna be uploading Pokemon videos for now. I hope you guys enjoy this. So this is part one, starting your Pokemon journey. So basically, you go to your house, which I think is right here, and you choose your starter. I chose Tepig. He has Oshawott right there, or he has Oshawott right there, and she is having a side beat. And so his name is Sharon, and her name is Bianca, blah, blah, blah. And so right now it's autumn, as you can see, the trees are nice and red, just orange. I mean, they look kind of gross, but like, let's pretend they look nice. And the grass is like a gross color. Honestly, autumn, I, the only thing I like about autumn is because each season the music cha changes, so I only like the music, because they add like xylophones and stuff. But the rest of the stuff, first off, the grass looks dead, <laughs> and then there are like leaves everywhere, so, or the leaves here are like burnt leaves so we're gonna do we're going to do the tutorial so we're gonna start the tutorial so basically it's this way so Kathy it's this way Bianca says if we're restarting a journey together she wants us all to take our first step at the same time hey Kathy let's all take our first step and route one together okay here we go one, two. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry I have to keep you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up that you would tame even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. So, first you walk on grass. Pat rat. A wild pat rat appeared. Go Machino. So, she chooses, she chooses fight, then she chooses pound. And she attacks the pat rat. And it uses Leer. Machino's defense fell. Use a Pokeball after lowering the HP. So you go to Bag, Pokeballs, choose a Pokeball, which she has like 30. Use it. Fresh Junior, use a Pokeball. Shake one, shake two, and shake three. Then once those three stars have appeared, then you know that you have successfully caught your Pokemon. Now, Pokemon will escape Pokeball. So, gotcha! Patchat! Pat Rat was caught. Did you see that just now? Here's how it'll go step by step. First, reduce Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have a lot of energy are difficult to catch. If you can use your Pokemon's move to make the Pokemon you want to catch, fall asleep, or paralyze it. And wrap things up. The best way is I'll think of you. Pokeballs! Kathy obtained Pokeballs. Kathy put the Pokeballs in the items case. Pokeballs are used for catching and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Akuma Town. As you see, first of all, something you need to know. Do not catch any Pokemon in here, guys. Okay, they're not good. I wouldn't recommend catching Pokemon or Pat Rat or Purloin. I mean, go ahead if you want to, but I prefer to catch Pokemon later in the game. Even, yeah, so just don't. Okay, I'm heading to Cumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Kathy, Sharon. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you like to listen a sec? Seriously, why don't we see you can catch the most Pokemon? The person who's carrying the most Pokemon, includes one received from Fresher Juniper, is the winner. Huh? Actually, that sounds interesting. I follow the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it'll please the Professor too. Okay then, until we reach Ipikumla Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Snivy will do the best for sure. So let's check our Tepig. So to check the Pokemon stats, you go to X, 
and you get a bunch of options. Now, of course, this is the key card, and you should get badges. Which I've gotten none so far because shard game. Something also fun is go here, then you go here, right? You can get your signature. I used to play this all the time. Um, making your own signature but um i'm just gonna go ahead and make my signature going 3 18 because those are my lucky numbers so uh or i'll just scribble the whole thing honestly okay enough dibber dobber right now we're going to check pokemon stats so you write again x pokemon and as you see zane because that's what this thing shows me so you just click on yeah Okay, you go to Pokemon, Zane, Summary, ba -da -ba, you get your Summary. And so, he only literally knows, like, three moves. And so you can see his diaper, basically. He's, like, wearing a... She's wearing, like, a black diaper. And so, on top, like, look at his speed stat. It's actually pretty low. But, uh, means that their speed stats are lower. My attack stat's really high, though. So... Always check your stats, because stats in the beginning of the game are going to be basically your overall stats for, like, I guess, the remainder of the game. So, like, if it has low speed, then you're going to most likely have low speed for the whole game. So, unless you use, you know, stuff like proteins or HP ups or just carbos or zincs. So, I'm going to go ahead and run from these, because, honestly, they're... So, I'm not going to worry about catching it. You don't get running shoes yet. So, right now, I'm going to end the video now. Next video is going to be exploring Accumula Town. So, yeah. Bye.